Livingston Ripley Waterfowl Conservancy is a 501c3 not-for-profit located in Litchfield, Connecticut. Our mission is to conserve waterfowl and wetlands through research, education, and conservation action. It's important to preserve the world's waterfowl because they're indicator species of wetland health. If you have waterfowl in an ecosystem, it means that the remainder of the ecosystem is healthy and thriving. The Conservancy was founded by Dylan Ripley and his wife Mary Livingston. Dylan was an avid duck enthusiast as a child and developed the Conservancy as his private bird collection starting in the 1930s. In 1985, he and his wife set aside the Conservancy, the birds, and the property for the continued research, education, and conservation of waterfowl from around the world. Waterfowl are ducks, geese, and swans. There's about 150 species throughout the world. The Conservancy maintains a collection of about 400 birds, or about 80 species. Uh, our birds are primarily rare and endangered, and they can be found throughout the world. a variety of educational programs from a program called Avian Ambassadors where we bring live imprinted education birds into schools uh, but also here on, on site to teach kids about biodiversity and adaptations to specific environments. We also do a wetlands exploration program where we teach children about the diversity of water life uh, and the need to preserve wetlands of all different types. Uh, we also do a variety of tours and visitation series so that people can come see the work we're doing here. The Conservancy has a total of about 70 acres. Of that, about 16 is surrounded by a perimeter fence that keeps our birds safe from predators. Our smaller ducks are in covered aviaries where they can fly around, while our larger birds are in a six acre pasture. Our birds come from all over the world at the Conservancy. For example, bears poachards, which are an Asian species, are critically endangered 
with less than 100 left in the wild. Other species, like Meller's ducks, are isolated on Madagascar and are in decline due to habitat loss. We also have species that were first bred in captivity here, like the red-breasted goose, which was first bred right here in Litchfield in 1950. This is an Asian species that's endangered due to habitat loss and illegal shooting.